Hey, what's up guys? It's Adam with K6ARK Portable Radio, and I just finished up another kit here. This is a Super Rock Mite, the Chinese version that you can find on eBay, and I'm cramming it into an Altoids tin. I'm getting some questions about how you drill decent holes in an Altoids. So let me give you a little tutorial, show you how that's done. So I got the drill press set up here. Uh, you can do this with a hand drill, but it's gonna be a lot easier if you've got a drill press. I'm gonna start with this center drill. These things uh, work really good to ensure that uh, the drill bit doesn't really wander as much as you start drilling into the material. It gives you a nice clean starting hole. But before I do that, I need to find my spot that I wanna drill on this thing and I need to center punch it. I need to make a, an indent where I'm going to drill that hole. So let's do that first. Now to help me with this job, I made this little fixture. It's built out of wood. It just gives me a solid platform base, a little arm that sticks out here on the top that I can take the Altoids tin and place it up over the top as a support. So I don't have quite enough height for this piece. I'm going to have to change this, uh, this piece of wood on top so I've got enough clearance there. going to need slightly longer screws than these little drywall screws. These are going to be a little too short. Don't want to crank these too tight or they'll just split the wood. But that should hold it in place. There we go. Now we've got a decent support for that Altoids tin. So I've marked the spot that I want to drill. I've got my center punch here. I'm going to tap that with a hammer. Get started with my center drill. Place that in there loosely. Snug it up in the chuck. I'm going to get the support into position here and clamp it into place so it doesn't move on me. There we go. That's pretty sturdy. All right, I think we're ready to start drilling. All right, there's our starter hole. I need to make that bigger. I need to make it bigger, big enough for a BNC connector. So this is actually the diameter that I need it to end up to be. So I'm gonna swap this out for a larger drill bit and make my way up in size here. All right, so we're gonna make one step up in size here. Pretty good. 
we'll do one more. Clamp a little more securely. And there we go. There's our hole for our BNC. Now you'll notice there's a bit of a lip on the inside there. I'm gonna need to clean that up with a Dremel tool. Uh, so let's get uh, let's get that Dremel tool ready and clean up that inside of the hole. All right, so let's clean up this slightly ragged hole with the Dremel. See how well you guys can see that in the image there. We got a little bit of a lip there that we want to clean off. So. Got the Dremel tool ready, and let's give it a go. Pretty good job there. There we go. And there you have it. That's our nice clean hole in the Altoids tin for the BNC. So there you have it. That's my trick for drilling holes in Altoids tins. If you have any tips that I didn't cover, I want to hear about them. So post them in the comments below. If you like what you see, subscribe, hit that bell, and uh, we'll get more content coming to you soon. Until next time, I'm Adam with K6ARK Portable Radio. See ya.